say it as I come across too. We've put together this detailed setup and use clinic to help you use the TRX properly and we'll equip you with the top tips on using the TRX so that you can begin maximizing your workout results right now. The TRX suspension trainer can be used indoors and outside. Wherever you decide to use your TRX, you'll need to attach it to a secure anchor point that's strong enough to support your body weight. Suitable anchor points include doors, sturdy beams, weight racks, heavy bag mounts, railings, trees, or even fences. Fitness Anywhere also offers a complete range of anchoring accessories including the door anchor, the X mount, the multi mount, and the suspension frame. Your TRX includes a yellow suspension anchor with a carabiner, a carabiner for the main body of the TRX, adjustable straps for lengthening and shortening the TRX, and club grade handles with integrated foot cradles for ground-based training. For optimal use, choose a workout area roughly measuring eight feet long by six feet wide. Also, be sure that you're on a flat, non-slip floor. For best results, you wanna use an overhead anchor point, such as an X-mount or any suitable sturdy overhead support. Overhead anchor points allow you a greater range of motion for many TRX exercises, and depending on your needs, can increase your workout results. If you're working off a one-sided anchor, like a post or a door, you can still challenge yourself as much as you want on the TRX. Be sure to choose a secure point that's seven to nine feet off the ground and strong enough to support your body weight. To set up your TRX, clip the carabiner on the main body of the TRX to the bottom anchor loop of the yellow suspension anchor just below the black TRX badge. Do not clip it in any other loop of the suspension anchor. Attach the suspension anchor to the anchor point by wrapping it as many times as necessary to ensure that the bottom of the suspension anchor hangs at about six feet from the ground. This is the ideal height to perform all TRX exercises. Clip the carabiner on the suspension anchor into one of its intermediate loops or around the suspension anchor itself and pull it tight to make sure it's secure. A tip for attaching the TRX to smooth bars or poles, like this one, is to wrap the suspension anchor several times around it to prevent it from sliding from side to side. And no matter what, always remember to weight test your TRX before using it by pulling hard on it. A common option for home use and for training while traveling is the TRX door anchor. The door anchor gives you the luxury to turn virtually any doorway into a TRX suspension training station. When using a door anchor, make sure you're attaching it to a sturdy door that can support your body weight. To use a TRX door anchor, remove the suspension anchor from the main body of the TRX. Now clip the carabiner to the loop on the door anchor. If you're working out on a door that opens away from you, place the pillow over the center of the door and shut it tightly. You'll essentially be pulling the door shut as you work out. If you're working out on a door that opens towards you, slide your door anchor over to the corner of the opening above the hinges. This will keep the door from pulling open. If possible, lock the door. By now you should have the TRX all set up, but if you don't, take a few seconds to set it up right now, because we're about to get a lot deeper in how to properly use the TRX. Now to begin with, we're going to take you through a few safety guidelines to help get the most out of your TRX. Before each use, always inspect your TRX. Do not use a TRX with worn or damaged components. Replace worn or damaged components immediately. Do not clip this carabiner into one of the intermediate anchor loops of the suspension anchor. This may weaken the stitching. Do not attach your TRX to an anchor point with sharp edges. For example, certain overhead metal beams or door hinges. Rubbing against a sharp edge will weaken or cut nylon. Make sure to use a strong, secure anchor point that can support your body weight and to securely attach your TRX to it. Weight test by pulling hard on your TRX. Make sure the exercise surface is flat and not slippery. Do not saw your TRX in a pulley-like fashion. Sawing will cause excessive wear of the TRX's stabilizing loop. If the yellow color nylon begins to show through the black stabilization loop, replace your TRX immediately. Protect your TRX from the elements when not in use.
prolonged exposure to sunlight, dampness, and extremes of heat and cold can weaken nylon and metal components.